While it won't not be as rough as its patrol cousin sold abroad, our 2018 Nissan Armada Analyzer compensates for it in familiar luxuries. Calfskin upholstery, warmed and ventilated seats, warmed guiding haggle entire suite of driver helps, this platinum trim Armada consolidates the certainty of a Titan with a great part of the solace of an Infiniti QX80. Notwithstanding the standard gear, our four-wheel drive analyzer incorporates the second push chief seat bundle, $450, and covered floor and load mats, $310. On the whole, it rings up at $63,545, including goal charges. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, the Armada isn't generally some tea, and I wouldn't drive it this week. On the ride into the workplace on Monday, however, the snow was descending hard, and autos were in the dump, on wreckers, some sparkly side down. Having flashbacks of stalling out where my carport meets my crabbly furrowed street in a Cadillac ATS the prior week, I agreed to accept the Nissan Armada rather than the back-drive Cadillac CT6 plug-in hybrid for my commute home. My drive was a breeze. Regardless of being a colossal creature, the view from the driver's seat of the Armada was awesome. A high seating position, generally low belt line, huge mirrors and huge windows surrounding, I had no issue advancing through surge hour activity in the frosty dull. Far and away superior, the Armada Platinum accompanies Nissan's safety shield suite and versatile journey control, acting like an additional arrangement of eyes going not far off. Indeed, even in city activity with no voyage control, the Armada was cheerful to break early and easily, notwithstanding conveying the vehicle to an entire stop without a loan without beeping and blazing lights in my face. It was a comfortable ride. The inside is open, and the cowhide upholstery agreeable. I warmed up with the warmed seats and controlling wheel, and tuned into a podcast through Bluetooth. The notwithstanding the smoothness of the versatile voyage control, however there were two occurrences when I needed to intercede when the Armada wasn't backing off rapidly enough, the ride was additionally shockingly consistent. There was a tad of street commotion, yet the sound of the V8 wasn't excessively nosy either. The main thing that I experienced difficulty moving beyond was the strange creases in the calfskin on the entryway board.